in 2003, I was working as a web developer for the government of Alberta. I was 40 pounds heavier than I am today, and none of it was muscle. I, uh, I didn't sleep enough, I snacked too much, I was tired all the time, and I got sick more than a few times a year. You know, in other words, I was an average guy with a desk job. Although one time I got so sick, the infection uh, moved into my pericardium, the sac around my heart, and I spent the next year and a half in and out of the hospital and basically had the scare of a lifetime. Now today, I am a marathon and triathlon coach and a certified personal trainer. And I've completed 17 marathons, 12 half marathons, seven triathlons, a duathlon, and an Ironman. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so since making this uh, amazing turnaround, I've become painfully aware of my fellow tech professionals' lack of, how do I say it, physical prowess. And I want to do something about it. You know, I don't think everybody needs to run marathons. I just want you to look better, feel better, and live a good long life. You know, you don't have to give up everything you love to be healthy and fit, and you don't have to hit the gym for hours every day either. No, mostly, you need to eat less and move around more. You know, in the USA, the average American works for 47 hours per week, and most of that time, we're spending sitting down in a chair. In fact, we spend more time sitting down now than we ever have before in history. 9.3 hours per day. That's longer than we spend sleeping, which is 7.7 .7 hours per night. Did you know that sitting for six or more hours per day makes you 40% more likely to die within 15 years than someone who sits for less than three hours per day? And here's the kicker, that's true even for people who get regular exercise. In the UK, between the years 1980 and 2000, exercise rates stayed the same. Sitting increased by 8% and obesity doubled. Okay, let's look at what happens in the body when we sit. Electrical activity in our leg muscles shuts off. Our calorie burning drops to one calorie per minute. The enzymes in our body responsible for breaking down body fat drop by 90%. After two hours of sitting, our HDL, or our good cholesterol, drops by 20%. And after four hours of sitting, our insulin sensitivity drops by 24%. And thus, our risk of getting diabetes rises. Now, every hour that we spend on the couch when we get home from work raises all of these risk factors by an additional 11%. Now, I have a confession to make. I'm one of those guys with a standing workstation. Because standing at my desk, I can burn up to 50 extra calories per hour. That's 400 extra calories per workday. You know, I told a friend of mine that, and he said, well, that hardly counteracts the soda I have every day. <laughs> Seriously, imagine if he stood and skipped the soda, 800 calories is a significant caloric deficit. A standing worker, like a clerk at a Best Buy, burns about 1,500 calories while he's at work, while somebody with a desk job burns about 900. But what it comes down to is you don't absolutely have to stand all the time, but you should absolutely interrupt your sitting and move around as often as you can. Now, I set an alarm on my iPhone to go off once an hour every hour, and I do some push-ups or some jumping jacks or some burpees or any of the exercises you see on the screens over here. Getting up once an hour for four minutes, well, that gets you approximately the 30 minutes of exercise that your doctor has been nagging you about. Plus, it gets you more focused and energized, and it's good for your brain as well as your body. And when you're not at work, find opportunities to move around as well, like never sit on a bus or a subway. Always take the stairs. If you're on an escalator, pretend they're stairs. Ignore what your mom told you when you were a kid and bounce your legs, move, fidget every chance you get. This is called non-exercise activity thermogenesis, or NEAT, and it all adds up. Now also, when you're watching TV, never sit through a commercial break. This is like the perfect opportunity to get up and go and do something. 
I keep a set of dumbbells by the TV that I just swing around, or I go and walk into another room, but not the kitchen. Avoid that temptation. <laughs> and I've completely run out of time, so I can't even talk about diet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.